Thanks for amazing round and Vampire Survivors Best Week 336. We got more Vampire Survivors Castlevania collab, Ode to Castlevania. And I've already messed up one run with Shinoa because I filled up my inventory before I got the glyphs, but I don't know if they'll spawn in or not. I mean, it spawned in for Alucard. So, uh, gains one might every level. Charge ability triggers all equipped weapons from the Ebony Diabolog. I don't know what those are, but we'll go to Ode to Castlevania. And not much in the way of things that actually affect her weapon, whatever it is. So we'll just get the Moonlight Polaro and move on. Oh, neat. It's sort of like a worse victory sword, it seems. Speaking of that, let's get regular victory sword. Yeah, it's just like a worse victory sword. Huh. Ugh, this is choice. I don't know what the Diabolog does. I'm just gonna banish pentagram so it's out of here. Uh, slash, I do want that because if we go for slashy stuff, sword stuff, maximum of the sword. Well, I don't know what evolved. Six? That means it's got a special evolution if it's only six. Cross sword. Will turn into a sword eventually with a clover. Maybe it's like bracelet. I did check the grimoire, and it's got a funky path. Wait, what? Did I imagine it? Maybe I got it confused with the glyph. He's obviously going to be getting all three glyphs together. Weird. Okay, but if it's six, it's got to has to have a special evolution. Well, uh, well, I do want things that haven't been used for an evolution. Okay, let's trigger flower boss. So then reduce yeah, quarter fifth of a second. Cross again. Clover hasn't been used for like anything, so it might if it does require an evolution. Alchemy whip. I think it's slash, right? Yeah, alchemy whip gets slash, so that's fine. I really like alchemy whip. Into vampire killer. He's a vampire killer after all, eh? One more projectile. Yeah, she's swinging her sword. Swing her arm. He attacks. Arbiter not been used. Actually, this will be an evolution chest, so I can test it whether it's Pomerola or just leveling it up that'll give it a bracer effect. Bracer effect? What? An evolution check. Bracelet, sort of. Situation where it just evolves into itself along the line, like with Elecart Sorb. A Toronis box. Uh, what else with it? I did not play Word of Ecclesia, so um, who knows? I want to hold out like an inventory slot to try and get the Dominus clip if it does show up under her. I don't know where the third one is. I don't even know if it's correct that I got it with Alucard, or heck, maybe both Dominus glyphs. I can get. I mean, I have it unlocked because of Alucard. Okay, so does her weapon count towards it, or is it only the glyphs? I don't know. I didn't check the Black Diabolog. Fix. All right. Let's see if you evolve. Okay, yeah, you auto evolve like bracelet. Next your enemies, speed affects damage. So try and get wings. Yes. No. Speed, so that's Bracer, which is weird. Very weird. Okay, yeah, it's got its own line like Bracelet. Oh, it fired out some other thing. All it takes is a thousand kills with her to unlock it. Not a perfectly good situation I'm in right now. No empty tome does that. So bracer, empty tome. Oh, 
I need much in the way of other stuff. Help me whip this TG suit on the map. Cross needs clover, so clover. Empty tomb. Care about Jimma Torper. One down. No levels for the sword yet. Yay, health. Put on reduce by another half a s or fifth of a second. A fifth, one fifth, one fifth of the number. Ooh, another Arcana Goblin. Should be able to punch you up real good. Or not. Or not. Oh, come here. Have the damage. Yeah, there we go. Then beginning to buff it up a bit more. Yep. More damages, or more sword slash things better. Right now, it's just like sort of a worse... Let's need each other to evolve. Uh, let's see, do I want a tract orb? I can hold off on a tract orb. Don't care for garlic. I want things that slash. Wait, I want to hold out for trying to get the glyphs with her. Maybe they will show up. I could have just you know, sealed the other stuff on the chance that they did. Oh, let's get from roll out of intention. Ooh, neat. Uh, fired off something, maybe. It does seem weird that she doesn't start with the glyphs, considering that's her whole thing. She has the glyphs. Resurrect Dracula. There's one more projectile. Hmm. Don't know what's doing the big 100s. It's either Victory Sword or whatever the name of the sword is. Oh, it might be crits. Damage up by four again. This does not do a lot of base damage, huh? If it's going up by four. Maybe it does. Do a ton. Most other bunch of other weapons are like 10 and 20 and whatnot. I don't see it. Yellow card spear doesn't get slashed, does it? No. No, it does not. Uh, what do we want? Oh, some England. Wait, Santa Spear gets crit? Let's put them all out of business. Huh. Oh. Heart refresh. Heal up, Shinoa. Heal up. Take this sword. Arms box needs to be maxed before Soul Solution pops in. I don't think I've seen those little. Wave dudes coming in. Yeah, I've been sitting here way too long. I'll just grab the chests and bail. And no mad groove for me, because that would be helpful. More projectile. Nice tunes, Shinoa. Door open. Hey, eyeball. Man, wretched luck on the passives, too. Oh, the regular five-minute boss, too. On top of it. Oh, man, that exhaustion is feeling it. Oh, boy. I still have so much else to do. Oh, whoa. I got beat up bad. Well, at least I get the big combo blast and finisher. Wow, oh, I'm gonna go down. That's been a while since that's happened. Uh, Charlotte? Well, not so long, I guess. Charlotte was, did go down, but Jonathan did not. Not Gebber. I actually have to risk this. And I get vent. Help me, whip. Go figure. Bye bye. And maybe evolve? Yeah. Melio Conforte, text your man, speed effects, cooldown, and damage. Oh, if only Bracer ever showed up. Oh, hey, it actually fires out like a real weapon now.
Hmm. I only have minus five cooldown. That means she actually has a cooldown malice. It's only at five percent by default. That hits pretty hard. Jesus on the map. Horse. Jibba Oh my jibba. Victory sword. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Victory sword. Hmm. What is the closest one to this? Man, just no. Nothing showing up for passes. NFT is a big one. What's that circle? What? Wait, what? Oh, it can still level up. Uh, it looks like a circle of what if there's nothing close to me, so the sword, the kill four day, Elio Kofor day isn't attacking. Cross. Not giving much, much in the way of passives, game. Yeah, there's barely anything showing up. They're supposed to be pretty common. Uh, I guess fight more bosses. Like, oh, these bosses. Should have gone after Medusa head and Slogger and Gaiba. Gaiban. I mean, if I wasn't getting my luck absolutely butchered here. I guess it's crazy bad on luck. I suppose this is to make up for John and Eric getting completely nuts. Stand much of a chance here, bad guys. Even with this bad luck going. Maybe I can just get a dang clover. But really anything. But nothing but weapons and weapons and more weapons showing up. Those that shouldn't come as a surprise considering it's all a weapon. Yeah, more damage. Bracer, empty tome. Clover. I didn't mean to move into that. Oops. Oh, it's because it I didn't move into it. A new one spawned on me. It does good damage, but I'm just really, really screwed out in other stuff. Hey, do I trigger that? Or is it something that... I think the only thing that makes sense is it triggering by not having anything near me. Oh man, it's going to get so bad later. Good luck on the Arcanas, but man, luck anywhere else is wretched. I don't even think this gets the benefit of a beginning. It doesn't seem to be firing out. Maybe it's sort of like Flash Arrow, and it gets a multiplier for it. Wait, there's one more projectile. Damn, jump by four. Oh, like, it seems like there's some sort of splash off of it, too. Okay, that was very subtle. I didn't notice it. That might be the projectiles and the sword doesn't get the benefit, but get, the beginning does. Wait. It doesn't affect the evolutions. It only affects the base weapon. Huh. That's terrifyingly bad. Alright, looking for Bracer. You are not Bracer. Bracer. Well, anything good, really. Well, no, I won't. One of them has to be for... Anoma's mana. Wow, 
you did actually so much damage just because I couldn't kill you in time. This stage is rife with chickens. Over bracer. What else? Well, I need to actually wait for that to skip over. Wow, it takes so long. And you got multiple. There's one more projectile. Well, no, that's all from home. Not cool down. Wait, is it cooldown for the weapon or just generic cooldown? I should have realized that. It's probably the other way. Or the first way. You know, that would have been elegant. Carry up by 10%. Alright, let's see if there's a sit-in super secret double mega evolution. No. That should be expected. There's only Toronto box left, really. Not much. There's Clover, finally. Now get me my Heaven Sword. Big slash damage here. Now I just need Bracer. Well, anything else is fine. 37. Okay, so it's only, it has to only be the sword. Doesn't do anything else. Got much better clearance now, and I have a bunch of other stuff, but... Duplicator? Duplicator could be a good pickup, too. And a Labrador as well. Go for as big an area as I can get. Yeah, now that it's got some power behind it, much improved that. These are not things I want. Not at all. I'm running thin enough on stuff as it is. Whipping time. Alright, you too. How's it going? Wow, you're fast because you... You don't even have extra curse. That seems odd. I'm gonna need your Jesus on the map. Oh, 12 minutes in and only 25,000. You're not looking like you're gonna have a good time. Definitely seems a pretty not great starting weapon, eh? Alright, we'll hold off on getting that Torona's box maxed out for a bit. Still need it for the soul solution if it does happen. Well, I got boss chest. We got Gaiban down and Slogger too. Crown? No crown. And Labrador, Duplicator, Bracer. That's what I'm going for. And I want some luck too. Get them crits going. Heads. Wins me the round. Still trying to find those dang glyphs. Quite a low chance of them popping, it seems. If she can even get the second glyph. Maybe only Alucard can get them. I mean, it did. Oops. Oh, good. It didn't get Torona's box. That would have caused some issues. No, I do not want you, Metal Claw. I do not want you at all. More gemming. Oh, deadly silence. Fill the air. My clover maxed out. Boy, I sure hope I get some more passives, you know. That would be nice. Take basically anything at this point.
Oh, here we go, a soul solution. And wait, that takes up a slot crap. Generally not something you're ever gonna run into. Well. No arcana for man grooving yet either. Oh, gotta go down here, grab that bracer. No knife. No knife. I wonder what the thought was of removing the effect from Soul Solution where it ate up all the gems for you. Oh, walked into the wall. Really feels like you can go out that way, doesn't it? Brace. I really want it. I mean, it would improve the weapon. The sword, and will give me an evolution. I'm trying to hold out for the glyphs. If she can even get the second one. I look how I got the first. I mean, she'd be the only person who would make sense to lock any of the glyphs. Coming up from the other way is fast. It's, this seals me out of the teleporters too, doesn't it? Yeah, it'll be faster take down crab battle than punch my way back up. In order to get to the other armadillo and get the car aroma. Ma aroma's mana. Man, it just does not want to give me this stuff. Wow, you're very fast. You're not being stunlocked super hard. Huh, this was a bad idea. Other weapons do still fire off during this, at least. Oh, thank you, Mad Group. Mad Group! Or Mad Groovin'. Yep, it's been quite a few rerolls, I bet. Yep, final page. Tracer. Dominus Anger. Razor Penetrating Projectile. Drains Health. Damage up. Bye bye, Justin Menton. Oh man, I had put a lot of things out. Huh. Put on reduction. Tracer. Roll everything I can out of here. Oh, this is so many levels being wasted. Okay. Here's you super first so I can get the vampire killer. Vampire killer goo. And then I just grab everything. Chroma, mana, passive. Well, let's roll them dice as best we can. Here we left. A lot of stuff happening now. A lot of crazy stuff happening now. Okay, grab that. Spellbinder? Oh, could be worse, I guess. Neutron bomb. And a mirror of truth. Wait, did I miss one of them? Yeah, I didn't grab them right. Weird. Odd. There it is. Right, those are all weapons. And it's Mirage Rope. Mirage Rope always seems to show up. Like in crazy high probability. Oh, Dominus Anger is what's firing off the Dark Inferno. Huh. 
That explains why it changed with Alucard all of a sudden when I got it. I thought I was just leveling up so much it didn't matter. Well, this has been quite weak. Hey, Vampire Killer Blast. I have been playing for way more than 15 minutes. Microsoft Awards. I have a literal counter at the top of the screen showing that I've been for 17. Can't break that counter. Ed, soul steel. I get them red gems. Oh, goody. All right. And I could use the chest to just level up a bunch of stuff. Gives me a better chance of the black chest getting the new passives. Yay, Karuma's mana. More enemies is better enemies. I'm gonna hold off as long as I can to try to see if she can find the glyph. Laurel. Laurel. Gotta be efficient with it. Oh, Desicus is on the map, so no. Oh, bye-bye, Vento Sacro. Oh, no choice there. Yeah, I don't know whether it was intended that Alucard got it. Or not. Might have been a glitch. Things can get weird in Vampire Survivors. You saw that Metaglio left over there, not being grabbable. More Paw Mages. Alright, I should just go fight the bosses now that I'm mad group. The other books set up. They're powering a vampire killer. Probably use my banishes up first since that'll give me a higher chance finding stuff. Speaking of finding stuff, I can't find the door here. And over to Abaddon we go, and then back down to fight Zephyr. Hopefully this time I don't bear heavily overshoot where he's actually at. Oh, so I wonder if the other Dominus spells are going to be the other ones that Alucard fires off. I actually did some off-camera runs to try and find it, but after like 100 rerolls with everything banished, there was nothing. Uh, nice. Sort of, well, it only really came into vision, but... That level up thing he has is the Dominus of Anger firing off. I think this Dominus of Anger mentioned anyway. Oh, did I actually run into it? No, it's way down there. That's why it shows up on his score screen. Okay, that makes sense. That's why he can probably get it, because it the game thinks he has it, so it pulls it into the pool. So it's a hidden Dominus of Anger, and you can get a real one too. But weirdly charge things aren't, so that's why it doesn't show for what the other Dominus effects will probably end up being. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. She probably isn't going to get it, but you no, know, roll them bones. That I can, anyway. Try and find it that way. Oh, wait, I don't want to banish any of you. The things I would want. What the heck is that huge explosion? That's nothing I fire off. Nothing I can fire off. 
went past it again. This tower is so much smaller than you think. The circle's gotten bigger. This corridor is so much smaller than it thinks. Run bomb. Power of the sun in my hands. Oh, whoa, I don't want to be on top of you. Clock Lancet. That'd be fun. Candy box, why? Why are you showing up now, candy box? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be showing up. You're still on top of me. Hard to see. I can get this NFT off. Yeah, I don't think it's going to show up, so I'll just grab whip. And everything else. Discus. You are not discus. Over here is frozen foam. And I have Spellbinder, so it will evolve. Grab everything and just move. Move it, move it. Not a particularly great run for Shinoa, but she beats the stage. It unlocks Maria. Maria unlocks Victor. Victor unlocks the whatever happens in the throne room. That's probably a cutscene. And that will get me probably unlocking whoever's secret. And because there's a ton of weapons hidden down low that's not attached to anything right now. That kind of spoils it. I love spam. I love spam. I don't even have. Uh, oh, there's a goblin. Just grab whatever I can. Harpies and flea riders? Yeah, flea riders. I'm actually pretty vulnerable. I have to revive from tier Jisoo, but. Not a conductor to survive in that long. Gonna have to start picking things up intelligently, like. Hard call for moi. Man, Sonic Web's doing a ton. Okay. Yeah, 700s. Hmm. I mean, I've seen it thousands. Sonic Whip's blue numbers are just weird. So weird, aren't they? Da -da -da. I'm trying to talk, but nothing's coming out. Words, 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 words. I love words. Yeah, maybe if I hit built for whatever the Ebony Diabolog gave me, it would be better. Right now, she, uh, this weapon and Shinoa do not seem particularly amazing. I'm gonna check that after I write it, because I can check what it does, I think. I think I can. I think I saw. I think I saw the. What a, like there's a bunch of weapons under these things. And you can select them if you pick it up. Right, because Jonathan. Jonathan got coat of arms. That's why I know this. Yes, yes, that makes sense. Fire. The duplicator.
This is heck. Is it Dark Inferno or Hellfire? The name of this. I think it's Dark Inferno. That's what's being fired off by the glyph. And Elcard has it naturally as a passive for level ups. And instead of it having be something else, it's a hidden glyph of hatred. The game sees that you can use it, so it allows you to pick it on level up. You probably aren't supposed to get it that way. It's kind of hard to tell. See what? I mean, Leon got the hidden Svarog statue. And. Don't think that auto evolved. Maybe it did. I can go check the footage. Oh, level up Swarm just today. I don't think anything leveled up, though. Get the Rock Riot. There's actually two things doing blue damage here. That makes it really confusing. Hey, block a knife. Some of it's really heavy, too. Hmm. Not like I've evolved the whip, either. Sonic Whip either. Just doing what it wants to do. Doing what it wants to do every day. So I hope everyone's having some fun. Perhaps enough to like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. If you like to support the channel, that's pretty neat. Otherwise, I still hope you have a good day and I'll be repeating at the stand. Probably start mentioning this earlier. Gotta get them. Grind going. As it goes. Respect to the people who don't do it, but... Respect to the people who do. Pride is a sin, after all. Ha 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 ha. Doctus. Gokatus. Cockatrice. Gokatus. The river sticks. Oh, hey, Arcana. Anything this can even do to benefit me at this point? Final old sanctuary will do it. Okay. Bouncy sword, bouncy tomes. Okay, if I not, oh, it wasn't maxed out, huh? Yeah, I think uh, Numa Tempest. If you build for it, that's whoever has going to have that. Wait, there's 118 weapons. Even... So that means there's gonna be like... No, maybe like 20 more character? And some of them are evolutions. Wait, do the evolutions count towards it? Uh, and also the evolution line stuff. Like the Elkhart sword and the shield. And you know what happens with Shinoa's sword here. Any chests out here for me to grab? There really should be. Here we go. On double evolution. No, just Panuma Tempest. Numa Numa Tempest. Numa 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 Tempest. That'll probably turn it into an absolute nightmare weapon. It's already hitting some of the highest damage I got. And with some bouncing. Heck, Gemini 2 if you want to count that. Whoever's going to have that at the start is going to be a nightmare. I think... Dilfa should have Frozen Fang. Yoko... Yoko has an actual fourth tome. She has a fifth tome. A fifth tome. But I want to get the Richter thing done with first, instead of doing everyone else, because Richter is next in line, and then it'll be Grant, and then we go down the list from there, 1500, jeez, what the heck was that, and Gemini, oh, there goes that, 
actually do need to get the Gemini Ivy, please, too. Just to make sure they're pulled out of the slot correctly. That's a lot of things that have Gemini, too. Duration? Why does it have duration? Also, that's a perfect weapon to get a bounce from Iron Blue Will of Waltz of Pearls, but it doesn't. Nothing's getting through this. Oh, I don't have the stone mask. Like, really bad luck on the passive side of this. It was like all regular goblins and a ton of Arcana goblins. Oh, yeah, right, there's still Doppelganger and a few other bosses, but meh, I don't really need to fight them. It's not enough. Yeah, so isn't anything super inbuilt to Shinoa. The weapon does not seem particularly great. And maybe if I'd been a actually built correctly for a passive ability, would have been better. Also, the bad luck of not just getting Bracer and stuff for so long probably didn't help. If I'd gotten those earlier, it would have buffed it. <laughs> Made it better. Wow, where are these hiccups coming from? Because it's Gemini, that means everything's doubling up in the full screen. All screen. Let's get some air truth and... Man, the Numa Tempest is going to be a monstrous weapon. The fact that I was keeping up with uh, Iron Balls that I was trying to break up super hard. So impressive. Also really good on the Iron Balls and the Spike Balls to beat it out, considering that hits more of the screen than the Iron Balls do. John made it work. Made it work pretty well. There's just so much on the map that I really have to go for Bolero to make sure I get it nice and taken care of. We're moving on to Maria soon. Then on to Richter. But first, I must eat. Then, I must do other things and many other things. To actually get the next video set up, despite the fact that I have almost a double digit backlog by this point, because boy is it fun exploring and fighting with new characters. I'm not getting the video set up correctly. Yay. No armadillo. Death comes for us all. Hey. Oh, a track orb. Let's just see what level you can end out at. Oh, another one. Oh, candle armor to work the last second. Where were all these are before? Clearly I can do enough damage to beat death. I'm only level 200. It only gives him, like, billions of health. Down as a boss if you get Vampire Killer good. Huh, what's that effect? Well, I should probably just end this. Like, what, 65,000 base? That'll be... Woo, Maria. You'd enemy a thousand enemies with Shinoa. That's very easy. Disturbingly easy. Wow, it actually did the most damage. But Panuma Tempest was doing the most DPS, and we've caught up effortlessly. And just a bit, but... Managed to outdo Heaven Sword. And it, though it did... It had more DPS than Heaven Sword, too. That's very impressive. Heaven Sword with Slash... Maybe like it's a huge boost from it, too. Rock Riot, incredible as well. The Spell Tomes. Oh, Coctus is pretty bad. Salamander isn't great. But Rock Riot, Gemma Toper, and Panuma Tempest all are absolutely crazy good. All right, I have to scroll down to the bottom. Alrighty, next up's going to be Maria Renard. Gains a follower every 10 levels, so that's why she starts with a shield. Right from 2 onwards, overhealing slightly increases might. Overhealing by plus 32 temporarily boosts all current followers, so that's going to be fun as heck. 
next time in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick. Another Beswick down with Shinoa. That takes us up to 1969. The man was still alive. 99 characters. Leaves us with 407 to go. That's it. It can't get much longer than that, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Only six more. Shouldn't be too bad. Unless whatever Richter brings brings pain. But that's for two videos from now. Is next up. It's going to be a Maria. So, thank you for watching. I hope you had some fun. Please like, dislike, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And thank you anyone who has. Either way, have a good day and keep messing around in the Vampire Survivors Beswick, Ode to Castlevania style. <laughs>